Auto Line on the Road from CES 2022 is brought to you by Magna and by So what do you need on cars? Do you need radar? Do you need LIDAR? Do you need cameras? Maybe you need it all, but maybe you need something else on top of that. Bill Grabowski is the head of Sky North America, and they've come out with an infrared camera, this dinky little thing here. So Bill, you take it from there. I mean, you have a sensor here, a, an infrared camera, that can really revolutionize how automated uh, emergency braking works at night. Absolutely, yeah, we think so. So this is thermal imaging camera. It's long wave infrared. So it's a totally passive device. It's just sensing the heat thermal radiation from every object on Earth, and it has a emissivity signature as well. So we can basically, in a passive way, sense every object, and we can create a almost perfect black and white image of all the surrounding the scene that the field of view sees. This technology can uh, identify live objects as well, animals and pedestrians, which is hugely important, especially now with the, uh, the infrastructure bill that was passed that's gonna mandate emergency braking on all passenger cars and commercial vehicles now over 10,000 pounds, so essentially every vehicle on the road um, is gonna have to perform, AAB is gonna have to meet a minimum performance standard. And, and the kind of the downside right now of AEB is that it doesn't work, even though a lot of cars have it. It doesn't working, work at night. It's not working at night at AAA all. AAA did a, a study on this, right, and proved that it does not work. Yeah, back in October of 2019, and the data is there. Um, they found it was ineffective 100% at night, and then they recommended the investigation of Thermal Camera. And in the last year and a half, we've gotten a lot of traction with the OEMs and Tier 1s. In fact, um, you got a contract. We did, yeah, we did. We, you can't say who, but you're saying 2024, there's going to be at least three models with this camera. There's a there's a game plan to put it on three models in the ensuing years. We start in 2024. It's a very nice program with a, with a major OEM. We're very excited about it. You've got some great A and B kind of comparisons here. Let's talk about some of that. Uh, so for example, well, you take it from there. Rain, snow, fog, that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. So first off, um, we're, we're great in inclement weather, bad weather, um, nighttime condi conditions with people are saying are edge cases, right? And we're, we're refuting that. We're saying, no, nighttime emergency braking should work, and the testing right now says it doesn't. Well, you're, you're, I love your quote, nighttime is not an edge case. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really, and, and come on, we, we need our systems to be working 24-7. This technology, it doesn't need any ambient light again. So total darkness, you see the same image whether it's daytime or nighttime, which is really cool. And we've got, a, if you go to the YouTube channel under Sky, we have all the video side-by-side -side comparisons. It works great for like um, early morning sun, late afternoon sun glare. You don't see pedestrians or animals or anything in front of you. We, it's like putting a polarizing lens on it and you see everything. There's one great shot that you've got of it, it looks like sunrise and it's glare with just normal camera, but with uh, your infrared camera, you can see pedestrians off to the side that you just don't see with the you, normal you camera. Can. And, and it, it happens every day in your normal driving experience. There's situations, daytime situations, where you're in the shadows and you're driving along a boulevard, you don't see, it's amazing when you put the thermal imaging camera on and we've got great software algorithms that can do pedestrian detection and you're seeing pedestrians that you don't normally see. So it's, it's really important technology. And we just think now with the advent of the infrastructure bill that's mandating minimum performance testing for AEB, that it's just a matter of time now. So, so you have no moving parts. You, you're doing all this stuff in-house pretty much, right? right? And you're targeting around $100 per camera that, at scale. That's our target at scale. It's got to get into the half million to million units. We want to, um, and we're at a kind of that tipping point. We'll get there in that 24, 25, 26 time frame. We see a lot of interest now. Um, we're not there today. I don't want to mislead anybody, but we've got a good path to get there with volume. I, I find it fascinating. I think this is going to be a great addition to safety systems. Yeah, we're excited as well. We, that's, that's our slogan. The company is a small company. There's 100 people in Israel. We've got four people in the Detroit area now servicing the customer. Our, our slogan is driven for, driven for safety. Driven, dri driven to save lives, excuse me. <laughs> driven to save lives. And, uh, and everybody's passionate about it. And we see the potential. And really, we talked about um, 
there's a lot of carnage on the roads today. It's amazing, it's, it's unfortunate, it's tragic. How many people are dying every year in pedestrian uh, accidents? Um, and the rates of uh, increase are dramatic over the last 10 years. It's like a 54% increase in pedestrian deaths. And it's because people are distracted. They're, they're coming out of nooks and crannies on the roadway. You don't see them. And, and so we have technology now today. Let's use it. Yeah. Bill Grabowski, thanks so much for this update of this new technology at CES. John, glad to be with you. Thank you.